Welcome to Space Time with Dave. This past weekend, I was camping up in Panamint Valley, which is way in the middle of nowhere in the high desert in California. This time, I shot a couple of images, and the first one I want to show today is M97 and M108. These are two objects that appear very close together in the sky, but in fact are very far distance apart. You can see here is the owl. This is M97 called the Owl Nebula, and I guess you can kind of make out these little lobes or whatever, kind of look like owl's eyes, I suppose. And over here is M108, which is known as the surfboard galaxy. Each one of these objects is a little small and not super interesting for um, my size telescope, but in an image like this, it's pretty cool that you have uh, both in the same field of view. So this was shot with my Canon 7D Mark II and my Orion telescope 8-inch reflecting telescope setup. It's a little under three hours of total exposure time. So the Owl Nebula, M97 here, is about 2,000 light years away, and the surfboard galaxy M108 is actually 45 million light years away. So they're right next to each other in the sky, but there's a lot of depth going on here. The Owl Nebula is what's referred to as a planetary nebula. So this is the fate of um, dying medium mass stars. In my previous videos, I showed objects where we had active star forming. Now this is a star dying. So what happens is when these stars age, uh, as, they, as they burn through their nuclear fuel, they begin to release their outer layers of material. And just kind of gently, it floats away, kind of blows away in the nuclear wind. So the name planetary is a really bad name because it doesn't really have anything to do with planets. It's a term left over from early astronomers that mistook them for planets in the sky. They saw not point sources like stars, but kind of more faint disk shapes. And that's what we see here. Planetary nebula are very interesting. They're very beautiful to look at. And they show some really intricate structure, especially in Hubble Space Telescope images. Uh, I won't spend too much more time talking about them because the astronomer Phil Plate did a great job in the uh, PBS Crash Course Astronomy series, which I'm going to link to, so check that out. M108 is a barred spiral galaxy, and we can see it here sort of looking at it kind of edge on. And I, I don't, uh, don't have a whole lot of detail uh, in here, but we can, we can make out some of the, the gas and dust in the spiral structure, the blue light from its you know, more massive blue stars, and the yellower, oranger core of the galaxy. This image overall is not one of my best images. It's kind of fuzzy, kind of soft. That night we had some, some clouds, kind of some poor seeing, so I wasn't even sure I would get anything at all. But it's pretty neat, and I, I like that it shows both of these objects in the field of view to give you sort of an idea of, I guess you could say, cosmic diversity. So this time of year, a little after 10 o'clock, if you look to the northeast, you'll see the constellation Ursa Major, or the Big Dipper. And you can usually see the Big Dipper even in a light polluted area. So if we zoom in here, and we look in this area, here we can see the owl and the surfboard. Owl Nebula Surfboard Galaxy. Okay, that's it for now. Check out the Crash Course Astronomy video on planetary nebulae and white dwarf stars, and I'll see you next time.